I want you to think for a moment where you would be if you did not have God in your life. Where would you be if you never knew anything about the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam? This idea may be hard to fathom, to contemplate. How to live without faith? What would that look like? What would that feel like? To never know, never know the light of Allah and the light of His Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Could you even breathe? Could you even taste? How could you live? I, I had no faith for half my life. The same as my family and my friends. My mother didn't have faith. She committed suicide when I was 16 years old. She had been depressed and unhappy for most of my life, unable to find a point to life. Not long after her death, one of my father's closest friends also committed suicide. Both my mum and my dad's friend were parents around my age. They had three children each, yet somehow life became too much for them. Life became too empty for them, too pointless. There was no spirit, no real meaning. As I said, I was 16 years old. This shocked me. How can this be the point to life? What kind of system offers this as a conclusion to your life? I believed and I hoped that life was worth more than this. But I too couldn't find a purpose or a meaning. Later, when I was at university, I was studying physics, thinking that science maybe had the answers to the universe. But I soon realized science didn't have the answers for the big questions. Questions such as why are we here and where are we going? I was, I was lost and I was searching, like Salman al-Farzi. I was looking for something better, looking for the truth, but couldn't see it yet. But I knew that the ship that I was on had holes and was going to sink. I needed to find another. I left my country traveling for a year and a half in search of something to live for. Though I was young, though I was, though I was young I didn't even really think that that was possible. I didn't believe there was a God, nor that any, that any religions had any benefit. And based on what I can see, this made sense. Where where is the real meaning, I thought. Where is real beauty? At this time, I didn't know anything about Islam or any Muslims. Islam wasn't something, something I could see. I traveled around the world. The last six months of my travels, I was spent time in Muslim countries, which eventually opened the door in my heart to Islam. Since I've been Muslim, I've been involved in a lot of da'wah and supported a number of new Muslims. People convert for many reasons. These days, the majority of people find out about Islam through the internet. Many find out through, about Islam in the English language. Many become Muslim without ever meeting a Muslim. Many convert from events on the other side of the world. In the years that I have been Muslim, certain events have happened in the world which have led to many people to convert. Sometimes when you think that that event would be bad for Muslims, Somehow, alhamdulillah, people become Muslim. Right now, there are many in the West who, like I was, realize their ship has holes, realize that their ship is sinking, realize that their leaders are liars and their system is false. They are taking off their glasses and they are looking for their ship. They are looking for their safina to jump to. This, this religion is beautiful. If they saw it, if they saw it, how could they not jump to it? What people need is like the Ark of Prophet Nuh, a ship to take them to safety. It's what we all want. The soul that God has placed in us is in every single one of us. Who is that? That nah, that is everyone. Everyone in the past, everyone in the future. Where is this Safina? This is the Safina. I came through. From New Zealand, the other side of the world. Why am I here? I came for this Safina. This is the Safina. We need to support this. We didn't need to make sure that there is space in the Safina for all and everyone. When they come, they will come. And they will come in numbers. Who is ready to serve them? Who is ready to welcome them? Will you give them an average welcome? It's ability here, Ahsan. Greet them with the best greeting. Salam. What are we? Where is this Ummah? Khairul Ummah Ukhrijat Linas. Where are you?
they would see this Safina, what do you think? Would they jump? Is this not a beautiful Safina? Would you jump? Laugh, woman. 